This is amazing. What if you can add custom actions with the API key in your custom GPT? That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about adding custom actions with API key in your custom GPT. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up. But before that, I regularly create videos about artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to custom GPT, I have already covered how to create a custom GPT in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. In this video, we are going to add API key. So to do that, go to the custom GPT, which you created and go to the edit GPT. In this page, there is configure. So click the configure button. And if you could navigate to the bottom, there is a button called create new action. Click that button. Now it's asking to enter your open API schema. I've already created an open API schema. I'm going to paste that here. So this endpoint will be able to get the latest stock price. Now I'm going to take you through what this schema is all about. If you see the schema here, first you are mentioning the title, get stock data, then the description, retrieves the latest stock price for a given symbol. So when you provide AAPL, it will return the stock price of Apple. I have hosted that in the URL and that URL will have an endpoint slash stock. So get latest stock price is the operation ID used in our GPTs that you can see that under the available actions. Next, you're passing the parameter, which is symbol. That is the only required parameter. Then you are mentioning that endpoint is with basic auth. Here is the change. I've already created another video in regards to adding custom actions without any authentication, which I will link that in the description below. So in this, we are adding a basic auth. So the response are 200. If the stock price exists for the provided company, if it's not found, it will be 400 errors. And if it's server error, then it will be 500. Finally, you're mentioning the components with security schemes. Here you're defining what is basic auth means with type HTTP and the scheme is basic. So this section only will trigger the API key. One thing about this endpoint, this is the curl command for the endpoint which I have created and you're passing the symbol. AAPL is the symbol and you're sending a basic auth which is my API key and it returns the stock price 189.7. If I don't provide any API key, then this will be the response. Invalid API key. Curl is the easiest way to test your API endpoints. Now we know our API key, which is my API key. I'm going to copy that and go back to our interface. In our interface, if you see the authentication, click the icon and there you can see API key. You enter the API key, which you just copied, my API key. Authentication type is basic. That's what we chose in the configuration. And finally, you can click save button. At the end, you can mention the privacy policy domain name. Now your endpoint is ready. I'm going to test this endpoint by clicking the test button here. So I'm going to click that. Now it's asking to allow access. So I'm clicking always allow. It says the stock price of Apple is 189.71. Now we have integrated our own endpoint with API key authentication. As simple as that. In the upcoming video, I'm going to cover how to create the endpoint with stock price, how to host it in a URL like this, how to do OAuth and more about custom GPTs. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.